Hi everyone, welcome to IT Knowledge Base. Back again with the epic lecture of the NMAP Hacking Network series. This is a part one, NMAP Basics, where you will see in action how to install and their staples. I have separated this NMAP lecture into five parts for your better understanding. After the comprehensive lecture of this series, you will be able to confidently describe the NMAP and have confidence in how to use it in your network for internal and external security audits. Systems and network administrators also use NMAP to audit their routers, firewalls, open and close ports, and several other things. This series aims is to educate every individual who really wants to build a career in information and cybersecurity with immense pitch. Network auditing and scanning are a very important part of any security testing and audits and without them your penetration testing, vulnerability assessment or vulnerability scanning or ethical hacking will be incomplete. Network auditing or a scanning is vibrant if you wanted to know your network layout and its exposure from internal and external viewpoints. NMAP is the favorite of all time, especially in network scanning. If you want to enhance your career, you should start learning about the NMAP and get hands-on cloudy today. Okay, let's start and discuss some necessary structures of the NMAP and see the hands-on examples in action. Before we jump into the hacking network series with NMAP, let us understand the repudiation which is crucial and necessary here. The channel is formed for sharing information to help those excited geeks who really want to learn and do really something which is extraordinary in their field. All the techniques provided in this channel, IT knowledge base, are solely mean for educational purposes only. All the techniques taught here are covered in the secured workshop environment or with consent from a second party. If you are using any of those techniques for illegal purposes, IT knowledge base isn't be held responsible for possible lawful consequences. A swift overview of our lab configuration. We have a routed internal virtualized LAN in our lab atmosphere, which is a super safe and controlled environment all over. In this series, we will remain our approach ethical and projected. If you scan network that you don't have permission to, you can get in trouble and lawful consequences might occur. Only use NMAP within your laboratory or your lab environment with the consent of the receiving party. We conduct all the scanning practices within our lab network environment and this is safe to exercise willingly. We have an internal LAN consist of three routed IP subnets for simulation in the virtualization 10.0.2.0/24, Throughout this lecture, Kali Linux will be our primary platform for auditing. We normally target and victimize our internal network. We will focus on and talk about real scenario network auditing tactics. You will see how to audit any network from the eyes of red blue and purple teaming viewpoint along with real scenario tactics. NMAP is preferred when deep network scanning or security audits are required. NMAP has an independent platform and can be run on different operating systems such as Windows, Mac, Linux and PSDs. It can discover the free ports, connected hosts, any loopholes or potential vulnerabilities in the network systems and detect all the services running on the host with the operating systems and versions. Consideration of NMAP. Let's understand first the objectives of NMAP. What is NMAP? NMAP is short for Network Mapper. It is an open source Linux command line tool. NMAP is the most famous scanning tool used by penetration testers. It is an open source Linux command line tool that is used to scan IP addresses and ports in the network and detect installed applications on a network by sending packets and analyzing the following responses. NMAP is widely used in the hacking and cyber security world. NMAP allows network admins to find which devices are running on their network, discover open ports and services, and detect vulnerabilities. Gordon Leon wrote NMAP back in 1997 to help map an entire network easily and find its open ports and services. NMAP has become hugely popular, being featured in movies like The Matrix and the popular series of Mr. Robot. NMAP is a mighty tool that can be used for positive or negative purposes. Why use NMAP? NMAP can quickly recognize all the devices including servers, routers, switches, mobile devices, etc. on single or multiple networks. NMAP helps identify services running on a system 
including web servers, DNS servers, and other common applications. Nmap can also detect application versions with reasonable accuracy to help detect existing vulnerabilities. Nmap can also find the information about the operating systems running on devices. It can provide detailed information like operating system versions and make it easier to plan additional approaches during penetration testing. During security auditing and vulnerability scanning, you can use Nmap to attack systems using existing scripts from the Nmap scripting engine. Nmap has a graphical user interface called Zenmap. It helps you develop visual mapping of a network for better usability and reporting. Some frequently asked questions about Nmap. Question number one, is it safe to install Nmap and learn network scanning in your lab or home computer? And the answer is yes. And you can use it for your deep dive practice and learning. Question number two, is it safe to install and use on a work computer? And the answer is no. It's not a good idea to install Nmap on your work computer. Question number three, is it safe to install Nmap and use it on your production server? And the answer is yes, you could unless you are in the security monitoring team. Question number four, is it safe to install and use on a test server or virtual machine or some test environment? And the answer is it could be depending on who is asking and what is the purpose of installation. Virtualization is common in every environment today. You can isolate your test and production environment and fire up only in the isolated sandbox environment. Is Nmap safe to use? Nmap is a safe tool and it's also dependable software that's available for cybersecurity professionals. However, it's understandable that nothing is safe, even Windows and builds of Linux contact vulnerabilities. There may be some restricted environment where it's against the rules to install it. However, it's only a matter of policy that can be checked locally. Regardless, it's legitimate, safe, dependable, and free for IT administrators, cybersecurity experts, and IT professionals. Advantages of Nmap Many benefits of Nmap set it apart from other network scanning tools. To begin with, it's open source and free of charge. The other benefits include it can search subdomain and domain name systems queries. It can be used for extensive deep networking auditing of the network system. It can determine the nature of the service that the host is performing, like whether the host is a mail server or a web server, and so on. With the help of NMAP Scripting Engine, or NSE, interaction can be made with the target host. Okay, let's gear up tight to see all the commands one by one in this lecture. Now let's talk about the content covered in this lecture. In this lecture, we will cover installing Nmap on Linux systems. However, Nmap comes pre-installed in Kali Linux. We will see how to scanning a single target, scanning a multiple targets, scanning an IP address ranges, scanning an entire subnet, scanning a target list, scanning and excluding targets, and aggressive scans. Installing Nmap on Linux. In this section, we look how to install Nmap in Ubuntu Linux. You don't need to run a security distribution to use Nmap. You can install it on any Debian based system with the following command. Scanning a single target. Now we will go over a couple of basic scanning techniques. Be aware that a firewall in the network can possibly return false scan results because they detect your scan. This default Nmap scan will check against the thousand most used TCP IP ports. You can see three rows in the results, port, state, and service. The port row obviously shows you the port number and the protocol. The state row shows you if the port is open or closed. And the service row shows you which service is associated with the port. This default scan is mostly used to get a first overview of a client. 
scanning multiple targets you can also go ahead and scan for multiple targets at the same time scanning an IP address range to scan a whole range of IP addresses use the following this automatically scans for all online hosts in this IP range. Scanning an entire subnet. This command is widely used. It allows you to scan a whole subnet using CIDR notation. scan our target list. Now we can take this a step further and also use list to put our targets into. Create a target.txt file that includes two hosts, one per line. If we run the following command, nmap runs the default scan against those targets in the list. Scanning and excluding target. You can exclude the range of critical servers from a scan. If you know, for example, 192.168.11.1 is your router and you don't want to run your scan against it, use the following command. You can also exclude a whole range of IP addresses by specifying your critical server's IP ranges. Aggressive scan. You have to be a vigilant because it is easily detectable. This scan uses an assortment of scan options included in a single parameter dash capital A. Please note as you can see this returns a hefty lot of information. Okay, now wrap up this lecture. This lecture had better enough to get you our ongoing. I endorse you should build a lab and test out those basic commands which we have qualified. See what evidence you are able to gather and how to process it. Run scans against different targets and against different operating systems. That's all for the now. In part 2, I will show you some hands-on and talk about NMAP host discovery options. I will see you over there and I look forward to joining you through this lecture. Thank you for being here. If you want to see more awesome training content, make sure you click that subscribe button. Click it so you don't miss it. Thank you.